Alright guys, Godzilla x Kong. We just reacted to a trailer breakdown a few days ago, but I got a tiny bit more information that we didn't see last time, and Goji Center has made his own breakdown. So we're here to react to another trailer breakdown, see if he has any better information, and like I said, I've got a little bit more information for you all here in a minute. I've, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but you know, I, I kind of saw something that I wanted to point out. Hit that like button for me if you haven't yet. Godzilla and let me know in the comments the if you're excited. Empire. Oh, this bro. Trailer review episode oh, I'm so excited. We'll be jumping around this trailer to explain a few things, so pay close attention. Oh, I'm paying this film mad close attention. After the events of Godzilla vs. Kong, post-2024, when modern-day civilization managed to safely land inside the whole... <laughs> hey, yo, I, can, I cannot contain my excitement. Film. I'm so this serious. Every time I watch this, introduced to the Hollow Earth, and a big chunk of the film will take place down here. At this point, we got Silverback Kong. World what it looks like? Established many it's still my boy Kong, such as the one in Antarctica, the hole blasted by Godzilla in Hong Kong, and the one in Skull Island. Starting from I the forgot about the one in Skull Island. Of what appears to be some sort of seismometer, a device composed of a recording and we're almost to my first point here. I don't know if he's going to point it out. Let's see. Explosions, or in this case, catastrophic. Because there's something that I noticed from the ground that I I don't know if a lot of people saw. Kaiju activity takes right here. Form as Kong makes his way through a passageway right underneath the Giza pyramid. Okay, so it says this blue light here makes us think that Godzilla may potentially come up from underneath here too. No, no, no. Okay, see, this is. I'm kind of like uh, counterintuitive here. I don't think that was the right word to use for that, but listen. You can see he put at the bottom of the screen over here. It says previous seismograph readings could have been caused by a larger kaiju. What I'm thinking it is. If we play it for a minute and see him take back up these blue crystals. I don't think that's Godzilla. Because if you watch the crystal, you, you can see the one on the left, right? So let me go ahead and pause on the right moment. Right here. These crystals over here... They're kind of like folding in rather than like folding as a Godzilla would. You know, if Godzilla was coming out, it would kind of be all on his back going towards the same way. What I'm thinking here is that's not like a spike or anything from Godzilla. I think that's an ice crystal. And if it is, bro, ice crystal, larger kaiju. Do you know what I'm thinking? Have you picked up on it yet? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thinking Shimu is also going to pop out of here. That, that's just my guess, bro. Godzilla may potentially Imagine, come up from though. Here too, but perhaps the Because it could be Kong reaching out, Kong's new trying to get away right from arm. Shimu or something. Why? Well, you know what I'm saying? It is implied later in the trailer that Kong can't face I don't know, bro. Alone. I don't know. It's possible that it's whatever so Kong is fighting could be the it's interesting. behind a possible interesting injury to think about. that would warrant There's the another one later in the video, so just wait on it. I'll show you why I think that as well aiding the integrity of the arm but also helping the titan in combat we'll put a tab by the way shout out to dino mania too because that one of the points i'm actually getting to, to get wild it's because of dino mania that i saw their post shots, establishing the fact that we will be witnessing it was such an interesting the theory even more introducing not a lot of people have pointed it out biomes, along with other but i thought the Megafauna. same way these creatures here seem to resemble some form That's the of death wolves jackals, or jackals from a distance. Up close, we notice that these guys are massive. Dwarfing they are massive. Look at the trees. And capable of moving at great speeds. Insane. Kong was barely able to make his escape thanks to his leaping ability once again being Got that leap in this film. Note how there are literally dozens of these predators running around hunting in packs similar to hyenas, meaning that these Comparison are capable to of a hyena, down okay. large titans using swarm tactics. Well, I mean, uh, they're definitely going to be able to take are far more larger numerous. kaijus because they're more information large about these creatures look how we'll big those things are too subscribe not to miss they are insane episodes. hit that subscribe button if you Another haven't yet really big reveal in this let's go is that there are actually more ape titans down here in the adorable clip, little man encounter a smaller more juvenile member of this ape titan species. i don't know his actual name first but, appearing know. as colossal thanks to some wonky lighting perspective but turning out to be an infant so now, adorable in a previous episode we mentioned that juvenile hollow earth ape titans would probably be around the same size as Kong's adolescent form That's back true. in 1973. And this turns out to be the exact case here. By looking closely, we I still find think that it's this like a fella is around the same size. He's related to Scar King, Kong's not Kong. Teenager form in 1973, dwarfing Kong's infant form by many, many meters. 
Moving on, we see Kong explore deep trenches where we find new geological crystal. Like, look at these crystals, bro. Probably charged with energy since we see Kong's axe glow and serve as some sort of lamp illuminating his way in these caverns. Now, we'll say those. More ape titans. I don't, I, I don't know, man. The I don't know. The pink reminds me of the Godzilla. Dozens of ape titans, you know, when he pops Kong's out, but. Living together, who happen to be the crystals and the ice. Mine's Scar King. Ice, you'll see later. That's right, you'll see folks, what I'm talking about. Here we find our first look at Scar King in this trailer who seems to be portrayed as some sort of tyrant in this film some sort we'll of absolute savage a bit. it's what he is moving along in the trailer we find out that yes there is indeed a human hollow earth civilization by the way if you all found out here, anything that we haven't seen yet let me know in the comments by the way some any theories you might have on these i want to read them all i want i want to know everything elements may be present let me know what you guys film, think as we see this wispy substance interact with gia's hand suggesting that these people may wield a unique power of some sort time will tell i love when trailers don't give too much away you know well. like i do think she moves in this movie but we really been welcomed by monster you fans. wouldn't just be able to see them maybe we could be looking at one right here maybe this spike of sorts could potentially belong to a titan located in brazil yeah why did oh, i not did you know that, that this dude I, the spike crushed. thing i didn't see <laughs> that either brazil oh wait oh, i just I, I accidentally skipped my bad my bad we're back we're back <laughs> This could but why didn't I see that? Or just a part of another titan this weapons. claw. The end of Scar what could King's that even weapon, be? Scylla's claw, or simply a new creature. During this part of the trailer, we hear Bernie I don't say, know, "Man, I don't can't know." Stuff this on his own. Followed by Dr. Andrews' remark, "He won't be alone." Who else is she referring to? The you already know. You already know. Located in a frigid region of the map. Oh boy! One of the Earth's poles. Here, underneath the icy caverns, we find Godzilla, who, according to IGN's article, is Godzilla frozen in ice, evolving into a new, more powerful form. Evolving, this bro. This is probably one of the most important takeaways of this trailer. Ladies it's and so gents, beautiful. Godzilla has evolved to this. Savage. This new form features Godzilla's new dorsal plates. To I think it looks amazing. Y'all already you know, know my take on it, but... Center's logo? Okay, but why this Okay, I see you, I see you. <laughs> and what does this mean for Godzilla? It's got that well, millennium look, bro. I love it. crystallized formations down in the hollow earth, we find that this just so happens to be the color of a lot of these formations. Mm -hmm. Blue has also been present, and coincidentally, the G-Man has been glowing in these shades Blue of Blue has been present a lot. What color this is Shimu, ladies and gentlemen? Godzilla obtaining a new like source a ice, of energy from ice the blue, hollow ice earth white, you know what I'm saying? other means. New energy levels, new power ups, and in this case, new corporal builds and abilities. We'll skip forward. You could have new abilities. That's in, that's interesting. Ground, along with Kong, both running at top speed. Note how Godzilla is running mighty fast, faster than usual. Okay, hold on. Maybe this we get some to better information here. Godzilla evolved to lose a bit of mass around the abdominal area. And but maybe it's just because he evolved. If that's the case, I'm fine with it. A little higher, We're just not used to seeing him move like that, you know? So it's safe to say that we might see Godzilla do stuff we have never seen him do before. We'll make I'm excited. another episode. So discussing the new Ooh, evolved Godzilla I love in this more scene, depth. man. But let's not forget about our main villain. I'm almost Scar to the King. point. Here we go. Hold on. We've released a few episodes. This, I, I'm going to point out Scar something King, else here. But now we have much more to talk about. Back to how maybe we do have much is more. Tyrant? Going to this clip. Take a look at their faces as Scar King lands in front of them. They look terrified. Their emotions evoke fear. Other than that guy in the back. How they resemble Kong more than they do Scar King. Oh, yeah. Legendary has been making a big deal about these red handprints visible on Bow Skull to your Island, new king is what that said. Kong, and seen once again in a structure. Godzilla and GXK Kong are not about to bow. And look closely on the bodies of these ape titans. Now, this mm, could be some I sort didn't of even, why did I not notice that either? For Scar I'm not looking too much. Is marked with this I just be getting too excited. A sort of I was here statement. Or worse, this is mine. Whatever the mm. case, this handprint cannot mean anything good. Good. It is also it's definitely not good. Unless you're a exactly fan of Scar King. Species is called. And it's they good for you. Be closely related species wise, but we are perhaps looking at a more evolved. I love the way his model species. of uh, of Scar more King looks too. Crafty, aggressive, and but I read somewhere that this somebody didn't like proven by the fact that this the the trailer's model. I thought it looked sick. I thought it definitely this looked terrible. I mean, look at his face, bro. Different. 
I think he looks sick. In the following clip, we get a closer look at this Titan's weapon of choice, which seems to be like a colossal whip coiled around his upper It's like a spine or Whips something like that. One of the a spine of a giant tools, kaiju. And in many cases can serve as weapons used to grip onto opponents or even disarm them. This weapon presents Scar King the opportunity to do just that. Scar King is seen breaching the surface world, instilling terror on the If he doesn't say below. anything about it, this is so my part. we could possibly see Scar King causing mass casualties amongst these civilians. If he skips but right over this, I have to. I, I gotta go back. I gotta go back because he didn't mention the fact that if we go back right here, I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna play it on mute, though. You can see all the people moving down there, right? You can see it's in slow motion, but the people are currently moving. Now, if we go back again, go ahead and take a look at the right here. Do you see that water moving at all? You want to know why it's not moving. I'm pretty sure that water is frozen. So if it's frozen, ladies and gentlemen, who freezes things? You know what I'm saying? Put two and two together. The ice crystals from the beginning, the frozen water to the right. I really do think Shimu is going to be in this movie. I mean, it just makes so much sense to me that the water would be frozen, that the ice crystals were in the beginning with Kong. I, I don't know. Well, let me know what you all think in the comments, but Mass casualties I really think, I really think Shimu's going to be in this movie. Scar King? Is he that would make so much sense to me. Dangerous threat. Note how we didn't see the entire weapon. That too. That there could be something else he could pull off his sleeve. Bow to your <sighs> new king. I'm one excited, of the bro. I'm so movie. excited. Shown on the official social accounts for this film, it is no secret that this guy will now try to take the role of Alpha, dethroning Kong from Hollow Earth. He's gonna try. Godzilla on the surface. This with possibly with a little help. We know how Godzilla she reacts to threats. I don't like know, these. man. Let me know. Will we see any of these guys bow to Scar King? Nah. Tell us what you think in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Nobody's gonna be bowing to Scar King, but they are gonna have to put up a giant battle. Let me know any theories or anything you guys might have in the comments. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching with me. I love you. Goodbye.